PAFO, the Pan-African Farmers' Organization, CTA, the Technical Center for Agricultural and Rural Cooperation, ACP Europe and Agricord set up a strategic partnership for the period 2016 to 2019. The partnership aims at supporting capacity development of African farmers' organizations through improved policies, technologies and capacities. The objectives are, together with other partners, to expand and upscale inclusive and successful business models led by farmers. A key area is to develop and promote the use of data as well as information and communication technologies ICTs, by farmers' organizations. The program also aims at supporting capacity building on agribusiness management and business skills. These are critical for the organizations and their members. Especially youth and women need to be included in entrepreneurship and innovation. A number of initiatives have emerged from the program, strengthening the management capacity of farmers' organizations, improving services to members, and enhancing farmer-led businesses. Lessons learned have been raised in policy through briefings, events, and publications. The farmers' organizations have been sharing and discussing their initiatives and experiences during a two-day workshop in Brussels. We've seen that when they're approaching the digitalization projects, the fundamental thing all these farmers' organizations start with is the farmer profile. And that isn't just a question of knowing about the farmer and what they grow, it's also about knowing about the land and where it's positioned. Geospatial databases are a core part of how farmers can get organized. Digitalization in agriculture, benefits for smallholders, initiatives from Burundi, Burkina Faso, Kenya, Southern Africa, and Uganda. We are um, involved in a project which is um, seeking to improve the management of membership data by farmers' organizations um, in, in, in the region. Uh, and the project is specifically focusing on two national farmers' unions, one in Lesotho and the other in Swaziland. Essentially, it is an electronic-based system for manage, managing membership of farmers' organizations. Uh, at the moment, uh, in Swaziland, uh, about 23,000 farmers have been registered on the digital platform, whilst in uh, Lesotho, more than 50,000 have been registered. The project uh, was basically targeting the, the profiling of about uh, 3,200 farmers. In addition to that, we, we, we are running a cost-sharing project with CTA, and that is the use of uh, the drones in tea production in the country. We did the GPS mapping of the uh, small plots for the farmers, which were about for 5,000. The farmers are now utilizing the same bank to get access in terms of credit and small loans for their, for their farms. It is the National Union of Coffee, Agribusiness and Farm Enterprises and uh, has a membership of over 213 associations and cooperatives representing 200,000 smallholder coffee farmers. We worked with uh, CTA in terms of uh, profiling the farmers and developing a spatial database which would enable us to know where their farms are, how big the farms are, and this is information that we needed in order to take to the market so that the buyers could trace where the coffee is coming from, the conditions that the farmers are growing the coffee in, and how the farmers are benefiting from the coffee. The end game for us is that we want to be able to virtually aggregate their input uh, demand as well as their uh, supply uh, quantities in order to be in a better position to negotiate with um, the different, um, in this case, off-takers or suppliers, agribusiness. They have seen the need for really documenting the farmers. And this need is going to help the whole country in terms of having coffee from one region that is well documented, where the quality is documented, and the traceability is well documented. And they were certified as fair trade and organic. From the certification, they are able to sell coffee to a buyer in Italy who paid over 3.5 euros per kilogram. In that way, they got an added income. Igara provides inputs to the farmers. And before, the numbers in terms of the quantities that we're giving to farmers were quite little compared to what we give them now after doing the profiling. 
knowing the numbers and acreage and sizes of the farm. We see that through digitalization, there is much more access, there, is, there are much more possibilities also for women to participate in this economy. The women have been left out yet, they've been doing a lot of the donkey work on, on the farms. But what this digital platform is doing is that, uh, because to register you have to use your mobile number. And we found out that women have mobile phones. So with this mobile number, it is the one you use to access the loan, to access the insurance, to market your produce, to do everything. So meaning it is making life easier for the woman. She, she, she's the decision maker in all this value. So it gives power to the women in terms of uh, access to resources, in terms of access to finance, in terms of marketing and so on, which has not been the case before. Les jeunes ne sont pas euh, totalement démissionnaires du secteur, mais ils ont leurs propres besoins euh, qu'il faut respecter et qu'il faut prendre en considération. Ce n'est pas uniquement de rendre attrayant l'agriculture et tout ce qui va avec, mais c'est de rendre attrayant les zones rurales. Donc les jeunes, comme partout dans le monde, ils veulent être connectés, ils veulent avoir leurs moyens de divertissement. Et, et si on garde des zones rurales complètement démunies, ça va être difficile de pouvoir ramener des jeunes dedans. In one way or the other, I think uh, digitalization has created uh, employment opportunities for the youth and it has also then done a lot in terms of uh, branding the agriculture sector to be more attractive to the youth. We are linking the farmers together with the youth, then we create small groupings of the youth, give them uh, mechanized uh, uh, devices to do the harvesting for the farmers. To see that the issue of digitalization is not only a technical issue, uh, I think it is really, uh, it has been proven that it is also creating a paradigm shift. Uh, it's a new way to look at, at, the, at the reality, to look on a global scale, uh, how, how farmers' organizations are trying to cope with the challenges they face. I think what's been interesting hearing from the farmers' organization in the workshop is, is the huge change in the last three years of their approach to using ICTs and digitalization for their work, making their organizations more efficient, providing information on production and yields so they're better able to attract investment and credit for their members, and also provide better market access to the members and empower them both in their negotiations with government and reaching new buyers of the produce. I think digital systems have an inbuilt capability of making things transparent and, and making those that are running it more accountable because of the enshrined transparency in the system. There has been a shift and inclusion of uh, data into agribusiness. It's time we take data for use, data for management, data for development in these smallholder agribusinesses. It is working for us and can work for any other person. La leçon principale que nous avons tirée, c'est celle qui a été dit par le paysan burkinabé, qu'on peut compter sur ces outils pour améliorer son exploitation familiale en ayant des informations que l'œil et la main ne peut pas toucher. C'est ça c'est comme ça qu'il l'a imaginé. After sharing our success story with other international agencies, uh, there is uh, an agency, there's some company that is doing the same, a replica of what we did as IGARA in Malawi. Digitalization for development is a way to go for Africa. Promoting agribusiness development and entrepreneurial skills for improved market access. Initiative from Cameroon. Le projet CHEF est un projet qui consiste à sortir le manioc de la table des pauvres pour le mettre sur la table des riches. Donc il s'agit de euh, faire du manioc un produit qui a accès à des marchés compétitifs, et notamment le marché, euh, les restaurants, les grands hôtels, euh, pour qu'ils soient ouverts euh, donc à ces marchés. Les producteurs qui sont organisés en coopérative ont euh, jusque-là mis l'accent sur la production et la transformation de leurs produits. Bien, maintenant, il faut que les coopératives soient viables, soient effectivement des entreprises rentables. Le projet a ciblé la coopérative Sokomapa, qui euh, compte à peu près 1500 euh, membres individuels, femmes et jeunes, 
Bien, mais euh, au niveau du renforcement des capacités, nous avons ciblé à peu près 600 personnes dans le marketing, dans la certification, dans l'étiquetage. Au Cameroun, les femmes constituent à plus de 90% de la main d'œuvre dans le manioc. Donc, euh, nous attendons que, à la fin de ce projet, que les femmes ne soient pas tout simplement de productrices de manioc, que les femmes ne soient pas tout simplement des transformatrices de manioc à l'échelle vraiment tout à fait artisanale, mais que les femmes soient capables de négocier pour accéder à d'autres marchés, soient capables de gérer des structures euh, coopératives devenues des entreprises agricoles rentables. Lessons learned from the program. Strengthening farmers in the value chain. More than 70% of, uh, of the African population um, depend on agriculture for their livelihood. But now the shift is changing. We are now turning around that to see how can we make more than this uh, 60% or 70% in the agriculture that are not in the money economy. How do we make sure that we transform this population to, to go into the money economy instead of doing it as a subsistence way of living, to do it as an economic way of living? When you do something together at the same level, as equals with the farmers, with agriculture and other partners, you leverage much more, you achieve much more in addition to showing the right attitude because nobody is strong enough today to deal with some of the big problems. I think the le projet a été un succès parce qu'il a vraiment donné plus de visibilité au rôle des organisations organizations sur les différents niveaux où ils interviennent. Il a donné la visibilité à la partenariat, au type de collaboration que nous essayons de développer et aussi dans le futur, nous voulons travailler plus fort ensemble avec la CTA. Ce que vous apprenez pour la prochaine génération de farmers, c'est que vous avez besoin d'une série de choses qui se passent à la même temps. So you cannot concentrate only on markets or just only on production. You need to have right policies in place because if not, you cannot operate. You need to have successful businesses. So you cannot also be in production if you are not efficient or in markets if you are not efficient. And you need the technology. And if there is a gap in any of those parts, you have a problem. Le producteur, pour qu'il réussisse, il faut qu'il y ait une combinaison de différentes stratégies et différents outils dans les nouvelles technologies. What's next? Enabling a new generation of farmers in Africa. And a key part of the solution of African agriculture development is how to unleash the power of farmers' organizations within a context which is very still dependent on a strong import bill, as we have discussed, but how to enhance their role in a value chain which is becoming more complex and less equitable. So we need to enhance the farmers' organizations to get a better share, a fairer share within the chain. It is a success, but it needs to build on the lessons learned to be even more successful and more transformational in the years ahead. We need to show that agriculture is a viable investment, and it's a viable investment if we can put into place the whole infrastructure in terms of ICT, blockchain and artificial intelligence. In Africa itself, on local and regional level, what can be done in terms of scaling up the, the good initiatives, identifying new opportunities in terms of concrete uh, projects and trying to see how we can scale them up. In discussion with Agricourt, how we can finance them in the future, how we can support them in the future, and for that, we will have a dialogue on what they will They, what their plans are for their nearby future, how they want to support farmers' organization, and how we can contribute to that. You need to use all the lessons learned around digital technology, ICT applications, price transparency, value addition, to actually scale them up between the local, the regional, and the continental. We believe the next generation farmer should be a farmer that does this with a lot of knowledge, given the changing climatic conditions, producing an eco-friendly product that really satisfies the, the consumer, by the end of the day also rewards the farmer.